Hi, I'm Wallace Cunningham, Director of Multicultural Outreach with AARP South Carolina. I am here to let you know that AARP is about promoting positive social change, the kind of social change that benefits everyone, especially those persons 50 plus and their families. AARP wants everyone to have a high quality of life. For more information, give us a call at 803-765-7376 or visit our website at aarp.org. Hi, and welcome to this edition of MyMetroTV.com Daybreak. First stop to the rest of the weekend. I'm Frederick Knight. Thanks for joining us. Got a great show on tap for you. Coming up this morning, we're going to take a look at CASA. It's the Richland County Guardian at Lightum program. We'll hear from the director as well as the gentleman responsible for recruiting for the agency. I'm going to talk to Carice Robinson. We'll find out about the young entrepreneur's latest business endeavor and from hacker to hero. Plus that power of PraiseTV.com inspirational video of the week and more. Coming up on today's edition of MyMetroTV.com. Daybreak, first stop to the rest of the weekend. We spoke with Paige Green, CASA Executive Director, about the organization and its history. Richland County CASA, and that stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates, actually opened their doors for business in 1983 under the wisdom and resources of the Junior League of Columbia. They started off with just a handful of, of volunteers and uh, our dear Miss Ann Cleckley, she was the first director for Richland County CASA. But it all started out uh, to be to have a voice for a child in court, for children whose interests were before the family court for abuse and neglect actions. Um, everyone felt like that it was best that those children have someone to represent just their interest. And so that's how the CASA got started. Uh, started off as a completely nonprofit organization and through the years, Richland County government gave uh, money and resources to um, to CASA and uh, then soon it became a fully funded county department. Uh, one of the unique things about Richland County CASA is, is that we never abandoned that nonprofit arm and so we currently are a fully funded county department completely autonomous from the state guardian ad litem program we are an accredited program through national CASA one of uh, I think they have like 900 and some programs and, uh, and we also have our board of directors, and so they manage our nonprofit arm. CASA volunteers are guardians ad litem, and we are desperately needing more volunteers. Um, our children, the, the need has never been greater than it is today. Uh, each and every year we serve over 1,500 children. Uh, now we're richly blessed with a lot of great folks who are guardians right now for us. We have over 420 right now, but that's not enough and we need more people who just to open their uh, just open their arms and, and hearts to serve for a child. It takes about five hours a month and we will work with you and train you as uh, we got a training class that starts in January and uh, but we will help you in any way to get through this process. We asked Ms. Green about the requirements to become a CASA guardian. To become a CASA volunteer, first of all you got to be 21. And uh, then you do, we have a background check that includes, you know, a, a sled check and, and several background, you know, components of that. You have to complete the National CASA training curriculum. That's a 36-hour course. And we incorporate a lot of self-study components in that as well as individual one-on-one -on -one courtroom observation. And so you complete that training. And once you've completed that, then what we try to do is to match what 
what your interest is. So let's say, let's say, Mike, that you were going to be a CASA volunteer, okay? And so let's say you say, I really enjoy working with teenagers. I think that I can identify with teenagers. Then when a case came for us to assign a guardian to, I would be thinking, be mindful that, you know, this, this child might be matched great with Mike. Um, or some people prefer to work with babies. Uh, and so we try to do a really good match on the front end of what the volunteers feels that their interests and their strengths are. We also were able to speak with James Washington, who heads up the recruiting efforts for CASA. My personal ministry and, and ministry for, the com for our organization is the recruitment of minority males, although we need volunteers desperately. Again, um, we routinely serve over 1,500 children per year, and although we've been very blessed with having a reservoir of well over 400 volunteers, our numbers are very disproportionate to the number of children we have in care. Unfortunately, in our program, typically anywhere between 300 and 400 children in foster care in Richmond County alone every month. Of those numbers, black males make the highest demographics. Essentially, our program, is, which has been blessed with over 400 volunteers, our numbers show that we need more, male, more minority males to be advocates for these children. To me, I think the best rec prerequisite to be a volunteer is someone that possesses passion and vision. It doesn't require any specialization, just a little bit of your time and passion and vision to assist these children who are in care. And for more information about CASA or to become a volunteer, well, you can visit our website, and that's uh, rccasa.org, or certainly call us at any time. Uh, the number here is 576-1735. We'd love to talk to you more about the program, or just come visit us. Stop in at 1701 Main Street, room 407 at the courthouse. We'd love to see you, love to talk to you, um, and just, you know, share some of the CASA stories with you. I had the opportunity to sit down with Carice Robinson of Carice Digital Photography to talk about the launch of his new <laughs> business. But no, man, um, on the real, thank you for seeing me today. Man, I want to know, um, you started Carice Digital Photography. What was your motivation, Carice? What got you uh, excited to the point where you wanted to start a business uh, doing photography? Well, it all started, I was a little fella at my church. I was on the front row and I saw these two well-known photographers by the name of Ronna Kane and Nathaniel Speed. I saw them taking pictures and I wanted to learn how to take pictures and they took me under their wing and I took their knowledge and I here I am. Okay, now with Carice Digital Photography, tell me a little bit about it. Okay, we know you got a passion for photography, but tell me a little bit about the business itself. What's, uh, what is your specialty? What are the kind of pictures you take? Okay, well here at Carice Digital Photography, we specialize in modeling, landscaping, we do special events, we do video, we do um, Photoshop, we have numerous services that we offer to our customers. Okay, I understand that uh, you played an integral part in uh, our mayor's campaign. Could you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, um, during that campaign I was the sole proprietor photographer for our mayor. With that, uh, I, everywhere he went, I was there. Um, I covered all his special events when he spoke. When he did the debates, I was there, and I put it together and made a slideshow for the mayor. Okay. Now tell me about some of the, uh, the other photography uh, efforts that you've been involved in. Uh, I heard you say something about landscaping. Yes. With landscaping, um, I have had done in, um, I've been in contests at Drew Island. Drew Island is out in the Chapin area and there's a bunch of photographers. We went out there and we shot different landscape of the area such as the lake, the pond, whatever that's out there and I came in first place with that. Okay, now tell me about some of the, uh, the other digital uh, components. I understand you do like photo shoots for artists and stuff as well? Yes, sir. With that, uh, we call that the entertainment piece and with that, that's where the Photoshop of our services come in at because we have a lot of entertainers they like the Photoshop effect you know I can change the background I can take a picture with them here in the office but put them in Times Square if I need to. Carice, so tell me what is it about Carice digital photography that's unique what makes you special? Well 
we here at Carice Desert Photography, we cover so many things that we can bring to the table. Our main, um, our main service we cover is we believe in 100% customer service. And our turnaround time is very fast. We don't believe in prolonging our turnaround time. We try to get to all our customers expeditiously. Okay. Now, uh, tell me, what if, uh, if we need to get in touch with you and uh, find out a little bit more information about uh, Carice Digital Photography, how would I go about doing so? Well, you can start by reaching us at our office number, which is 803-600-0987. Our website is www.zenfolio.com. That's where you can find all my latest events of everything that I have done.